<laughs> you are also a feminist. So should should I be scared? Should I be scared because because I don't know. Should you? I I don't know. Tell me because you know I I believe I have this you know and I'm not scared to say it out loud. Mm-hmm. Uh, idiocy is omnipresent, right? It's everywhere. Yeah. There are people who are you know blaming feminists that whatever you know they they somehow deny that women aren't you know facing okay. any kind of discrimination mm-hmm. in whichever field. There are idiots like that, and there are idiots who are feminists. and they are just hating ra- indiscriminately men they like you know they just hate men so i they are fucking idiots i'm not lying they are i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just no, saying i'm just i'm just yeah. because that does, not because i'm taking it personally i don't give two shits if someone says to me ki yeah. you know i hate men i'm just saying they are being very stupid because so it's this i think it's this thing of the not all men hashtag that you know people okay i don't know about this hashtag men. not all men really No, yeah i'm i'm like you know some some things it's are it's so very like it's the first anti feminist thing that you will see on okay. social media not all men not are all assholes men, because it, because any time a woman you know makes a statement like men this men that they are generalizing right? everybody is like not all men but you should understand that if you have not engaged in that behavior it does not apply to you It, and you are going to feel guilty i'm not i'm not talking about those about? Men. i'm not talking about those i'm talking about those women or mm-hmm. men who are pro feminism mm-hmm. who ra- who just say out like there are you you can't deny it, there are women who just hate men who just hate the, they they're not yeah they do yeah. They're, they're everywhere in india me i don't think it's that prevalent See, yet but since we tend to copy See, west in, within any ideology mm-hmm. there are bound to be extremists yeah exactly you exactly so i'm just calling them out they are they are idiots yeah about, uh, that i'm i'm surprised but generally how... i i mean i don't understand why people are scared of the label feminist as such they they shouldn't be because it's a movement and women do yeah. require now is the time where is you know earlier when there was lawlessness hmm. you couldn't help it women were you know they were everyone knows how they were treated during times of wars or whatever mm-hmm. everyone knows what happened right so now there is law to protect them this, no one's going to you know everyone will have that kind of thing that okay you can't force yourself though people still are doing that so it's the time and uh, i think uh, mm, sanitary issues you know since we have evolved uh, india mein bahut bada concern tha yeah. so women do feel empowered i'm talking about rural women and all after and men had got nothing to do with it it was just that you know taboo or social you know Correct. stigma so once they were getting empowered they were coming out they were willing yes. to work and all i think the gap is filling mm-hmm. but i don't like the fact when you know how do these women go home and face their fathers and brothers and like dad you are you know <laughs> keep your toxic masculinity away from me it doesn't make sense exactly people who do this and you, this see? Is, so i find it fake feminism mm-hmm. because You can't generalize and say you hate all men. The point of feminism is equality. There are. Uh, let's be. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit personal. You can choose not to answer. But has your father ever discriminated between uh, if you have siblings or whatever? No, I don't have any siblings. But okay, but do uh, you feel? Have you ever? N- not really. I have been lucky in uh, that sense. People like your father. People like my but father. But then again, I mean, I come from a background of. you know i live in mumbai which is mm. relatively a liberal city right, right. it is liberal, it is and it is a safe place as well so that it doesn't make much sense to you know put that many restrictions mm. uh, upon women in terms okay. of like their freedom of movement or, or i come from jammu it's not but, as liberal as uh, exactly. mumbai but so it does no? depend on the context but that's the thing na like you can't put everything in one umbrella exactly like exactly it's a very intersectional yes and thing. it is necessary so it is necessary what what a uh, what the feminist thing to do in a certain situation in a uh, urban uh, background such as where i come from mm-hmm. and uh, what the feminist thing to do would be in a rural, rural yes, place yes, maybe yes, say or also you know in terms of socially marginalized women mm. and such right it vastly differs right so you can't you need to understand so that. in that sense there are different feminisms yeah. so you yeah, can't yeah, say yeah, that yeah. this is one feminism which applies to no no i'm not i'm not i'm not taking yeah. i'm not generalizing exactly. i'm just calling out those who do because there are men like you know before the 
feminist movement started there was this guy raja ram mohan roy everyone knows right he was the one who started the reform sati ke against and all so yeah. there are men like him there are men like your father my father her father mm. yeah. so we are there man and we we we, we are the re- we are half of the reason why and women are getting thing, empowered right it's not about those men because they are basically behaving like decent human beings mm. and they are doing what they are supposed to do they, right, right. they are not doing something you know out of the way exactly way. exactly yeah Yeah, so that's why so that's the we're not calling for well, international men's day, day. <laughs> like celebrating. There are a lot of men who do suppress the women. They are. They are. They are assholes. They are assholes. They do. They do. Yeah, they do. And it's definitely very, very primitive, primitive mindset. They are the world. Exactly. Yeah. And even when we speak in urban context, also like uh, we would claim to be feminists, or you know, like that the women in the family are allowed to do everything mm-hmm. which they. wish or you know have careers or whatever but still you know somewhere you see that uh, low key you know sexism in things like if you are at a family gathering mm-hmm. and there are some chores to be done somebody would naturally just call out to the women in the family to those things as opposed to calling out yeah, the men yeah that's true yeah or so you know in, in a lot of cases like women eat after the men are done mm-hmm. or okay. the children are done okay. yeah. so there are these small things that you Although See, the women will always eat in the rotis, burnt. Now I mistake the women will eat. Exactly. Shit. Yeah. Okay. I. It is true. It is true. It does. Like if my mom is cooking and sometimes you know by mistake one side of the roti gets a little overcooked. So she won't give it to anyone else. She'll say I'll eat it. Huh. ऐसे ही होता है मतलब it's kind of like a understood thing now that women are the ones who have to compromise, which I don't understand by like now the whole issue of So how parents are pressurizing their daughters to get married early when daughters see that we want to work and be people of our own. Mm. I don't want to depend on my husband or his business or like whatever he is doing. For me to be myself. It's changing now. It's changing. I see it changing. Yeah, exactly. It's not. It's I know parents are worried ki ladki ki shaadi mein india mein yahi hai na shaadi hi sabse bada tanta hai yahan pe it's like and it's even like before that. when you asked about you know how my uh, father has right, treated yeah. me throughout hmm. uh that's also because a lot of things uh are there which he has seen from my perspective so mm. his views has also have also changed they have throughout to, they his have life right? it makes sense because, because whatever he knew was probably from the perspective of hmm. his elders or you know that was happening since ages right family, so he learned that or whatever right so you know once you have a daughter and once she brings or like any female in the that's family once part. she brings a fresh that's perspective that's a good part because your you. father was open to exactly. evolving right that, he was open that's the that is the point right, right? right. nobody is saying like everybody is born you know perfect and you know should have hmm. certain ideologies yeah. in place right all anybody is saying is like be open and just listen hmm. okay. but that's the problem you know i i find that lot of men have this ego issue where they never accept that exactly. they are incorrect Exactly. And they will never be open to anyone else telling them what to do. Exactly. So that is where the issue happens because obviously you are not perfect. You come from a different time period, maybe. Hmm. Maybe you have been brought up in a different way because of the people who come from a different uh, time. So, but then the point is to evolve, right? Hmm. We are human exactly. at the end of the day, but you can't stop yourself. Because we'll be like, no, I can't let them through. Like, be right. And they, they're, they're finally gonna. It's people like these, you know, who aren't willing to evolve. They're they're gonna get ostracized. They're they're gonna die a dinosaur's death. That that's gonna happen. It's it's gonna happen because things are changing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now willingly or unwillingly, people will have to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It happens. 